guys, it's Carolina, and I say everybody should exercise their rights every chance they get, no matter if it's inconvenient or not. Because if we don't use our rights, they'll just think that we don't care about them and they'll just take them away. Especially that Fourth Amendment. That Fourth Amendment is your right to privacy, your right to keep your identity a secret. Well, you might say to yourself, well, I don't have anything to hide, so I'm just going to give my identity. Well, that's great for you, but what about the next guy that wants to be private? It's going to make it that much harder for him to not ID. So he might want to be hiding his religion. He might be wanting to hide his ethnicity. And everybody has something to hide, even you. So make sure you exercise those rights. I chose this video for you to learn from because I've never seen this happen before, before ever. Well, it came in as a suspicious person. Anytime okay. we investigate as to somebody calling in about suspicious, we need to at least identify who it is we spoke to. You're not in trouble in any way, no, shape, or form. Okay, then I don't need to give ID. Well, you do. Because what law is that? To know who you are. What law is I'm that? I'm investigating a crime. It's actually called obstruction if you fail to provide Wrong. documentation. No, sir. Look, I'm not looking. I for have to thing. commit an unlawful act and prevent you from performing your unlawful duty to be in well, violation of obstruction. Yeah, currently, right now. So, what's the unlawful act? Right now, it's, uh, it's uh, came uh, in as a suspicious. Okay, person. and and what statute is, is suspicious? It has nothing to do with it. Yes, I'm it does. What's the law? To determine what's going on. So I'm, I'm taking pictures in public. Who you are? You're telling me you're doing something. Okay. That's fine, but I need to verify who you are. No, you so in the event that something turns into something, I at least can say, all right, I went out and I spoke with this person. You're making this more difficult than it needs to be. No, you are. You can come out and say, good morning, sir. How are you doing? Taking pictures? Enjoying your First Amendment right to take pictures in public? Well, what, what was the first thing that I said to you today? What are you doing? I said, no. I said, how are you, sir? Okay, how are you? Did I not say that to you? Yeah, you did. So you just asked me, what did I do? And I already told you what I said. Okay. I said, how are you? And I said, what are we doing? And you told me what you're doing. I and said, that's, that's it. fine. And I explained to you why I need documentation from you, just to verify who you are. Okay, but that's you don't need it. to verify who I am. I unfortunately I have, do. Yes. No, I have the right to privacy in you, public. You do, to a certain degree. Yeah. But, the, but again, if we're investigating it for suspicious because somebody called it in, it's not like we it just... It doesn't matter if somebody called it in. Yes, it does. Okay, so if you're outside on your property mowing your lawn and somebody says you're suspicious and the police come by you have to give them your id to verify that you live there yeah no you don't yes it's you your do. property okay. title to follow the law which is this person okay. we just need to verify who you are and identify who you are and That's what's all. what statute is suspicious what law am i breaking sir i'm again i'm not i already went over this with you i don't need to go and you haven't detail. justified yourself yet I, I do and listen again if okay. you fail well, to I, provide your documentation you can be placed under arrest for you think so. so who are you then because we're going to have to verify who you I'm are. I'm not answering any questions. Here's the other problem. Now you lied to me, so now I have a concern as to whether you're being truthful and honest with me. Do you understand? Okay, well, and you're not being truthful and honest with me because you haven't quoted a law yet. Uh, I'm real proud to show you I did. I already explained to you what I need to supervisor. do. Supervisor. If you fail to, there's actually a supervisor right there. Okay. Okay? And I don't need to have a supervisor anyway because I asked you for who you are. Well, I'm asking for a supervisor. You are, and I, told I did you, not lie about who I, I am. I explained to you what happens if you fail to provide documentation. You have What's two going on, sir? Right. Two? Okay. okay. What's going on? So what is your name and what is your information? I'm not answering any questions. Personal information. Okay, well then you're going to be placed under arrest for obstruction. And what law is that, that Sergeant? Well, he doesn't need to explain it to you. Well, he does, does actually. Right. He actually just, does. Just hold on a second. So let's find out. Can I just ask you what you're doing here? Yes, sir. I'm in okay. public taking pictures of a public building, okay. expressing my First Amendment right to freedom of press. Okay. I'm here to actually file a complaint. Okay. You have against... that right. You have all those rights. You just, you just Thank you. Well, he appears to okay. tell me that I don't. Now, just, just so you know, there are areas of this building that are posted Absolutely. off limits. Yep, like All the right. back of that parking so lot there, so it says restricted area, can't, can't go back there. Those areas or, or, or video those areas. Absolutely. Other than that, if you want to walk around with your camera, you can walk around with your camera. And I don't need to show ID to do that. You don't have to show ID right now, no sir. Don't! All right, sir. How's that? Well, that's uh, correct, uh, uh, actually, in that respect. Oh, is it? Is it? So your sergeant's wrong? So your sergeant's wrong? So your sergeant's... We're not going to get to the argument here. So we're all set, all right? he, I was just threatened with arrest for not providing identification. It's a violation of the Fourth Amendment. All right, sir. But now we're clear on what's going on, right? Is he? Are we all clear? Is he clear? Because I'm clear and you're clear. Sure. Everybody, everybody here is clear, sir. Very good, sir. Right. Thank you. Wow. Can you imagine what that conversation is going to be like later? I mean, usually the sergeant will back his officer and then reprimand him later. And that's why I chose that one for you to learn from. Because maybe the sergeant knew something the officer didn't. Maybe the sergeant knows about reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime. They have to have that before they can even, even make a detainment on you. And during the detainment, what they're looking for is probable cause. Because with that probable cause, then they can get that all-important identification that they want and probably even take you to jail. Now, this next example I want you to learn from is crazy also. This has to be the most bravest gentleman I've ever seen. 
Wait till you see what he does. And I want you to think about this and tell me, would you have been this brave? I know I would not have. So we have two officers in Texas who bang on this man's door late at night to ask him if he was the one shooting fireworks. Never answer your door to the police. I bet he didn't know that it was the police on the other side of the door. No. No? Okay. Yeah, I'm asleep and I got my kids inside. Okay, I got you. I drove by earlier and you were standing back here. I mean, did you see anybody shooting up fireworks or anything? No. Okay. Okay, have you heard any? Dude, I've been sleeping. I got my kids inside. She's sleeping. Okay, I got you. Uh, well, I mean, like I said, we had some people say that you you weren't shooting up fireworks. Do you have a driver's license with you? Well, I don't need my driver's license. You just oh. woke me up when I was sleeping, man. Okay. Um, well, then how come I saw you out here just a minute ago? No, you didn't. Is anybody else here with you? Yeah, my kids. Besides like your kids? How old are your kids? Why does that matter? Well, because I saw a grown a grown man sitting back here, so it kind of depends. Yeah, on my kids topic. are under ten. Under ten, okay. Well, it had to be you because I saw. I mean, I saw your hair stand no, up still a bit. No. Okay, that's fine. Love me. Um, you have a driver's license on you? Why well, do I need my driver's license? Because you're gonna be receiving a citation for shooting up fireworks. Am I under arrest? I mean, you're gonna be receiving a citation, so I. Am you're... I under arrest, man? Okay. I know the text penal code thirty eight point zero two. Am I under arrest? Okay. Right now, you're being detained. Okay. For what? For for shooting up fireworks. Okay, am I under arrest for anything? You're being detained, so I need your What's your name? Address. What's your name of badge number? Spears 81. Officer and what's 81. yours? Austin Nelson, badge number 48. Okay. Again. Okay, so let me let me just step in here real quick and try to see what we got going on, okay? All right, so we have a call for service. Call for service says that we've had someone in the area shooting off fireworks or possibly gunshots. Hold on. We... We're in the area investigating and everything like that. We're trying to figure out. We went to a couple other houses that have called it in. We made this location. He said he observed you standing outside the car or standing behind the car, sir. We drove past. I went through. I made contact with other people. There's been two. There's been a person that says you shot fireworks off. Twice, breaking twice the law. Tonight. I didn't do that. That's not what well, I'm about. Either. We're just trying to figure out. What's I know. I, I'm not saying you guys are breaking the law. Right. I'm asking why he's asking for my ID and somewhat requiring it when I know it's also against the law to require it if I'm not being under arrest. Okay, well, so if you read the, the, the same penal code that you're talking about, it says that if you're detained or under arrest, there's two, hold on, there's two different subtractors of this one, okay? The detained is not arrest, right? Right. So, text, so, so penal code 38.02 says, unless you're being lawfully arrested, that is the requirement for a given ID. Okay. Now, if I'm detained, which I am now, for Officer Spears here, I cannot give you false identification. That's what okay. the, that's what Texas Penal Code 38.02 sets. Okay, did you also look in the penal code? Or where is no, 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 that, that, that's all that's required right there. So I'm going to end this unlawful detainment and go back inside. No, well, we're no. Done. no I'm done. Did you see that? Oh my God, that's what I would never be brave enough to do. I gotta show Texas that part again. Code, Watch this again. Watch it again. Sets. Okay, did you also look in the penal code? Or where is no, 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 no. That, that, that's all that's required right there. So I'm gonna end this unlawful detainment and go back inside. Let me know in the comments if you no, would have had the guts enough to do that. I would not have. But would you have the guts to do that? Leave me a comment. Let me know. This next one stars a very brave lady. But let me say one thing. Sometimes they will call your bluff. Check it out. Why are you bothering my car? Come here, Coda. Come here. What? What does that mean? Okay, my car is parked though. Right, you still going in the vehicle? It's still truck. Okay. Did I what? No, you don't have to pay. There's nobody here. Yeah, it's a P area. I'm sorry, but I I don't have a lawyer with me, so I just um, prefer to remain quiet. Okay, well, okay. thank you. Violation of a couple things, and I need to see your identity. Yeah, no. I'm not going to show my identity. Why? Because I haven't done anything wrong. Let me just explain to you. Yeah, no. I'm not going to show my identity. Because I just don't want to show my ID. So you actually legally have to show me your ID based on the three violations I explained to you. I don't. Yes, you do. I'm parked. I'm at a park, a public park, oh. a public right, space. You're in, a, you're in a public state park mm -hmm. that requires fee upon arrival. No. Yes, you 
Absolutely not. And also you have a vehicle that's an obstructed license plate. That is. Which is tinted. That is registered, insured. Right, and then also your front windshields are totally tinted. My front windshield has no tint. Your this is my car, you guys. Driver side. This is my car. And your passenger side. This is their car. They just pulled up on me. So look, I'm, I'm really trying to be cool with you. Right yeah, now. I'm not gonna show my driver's license or anything. So I mean, you could do whatever you want. You want to go to jail for it? I mean, that's fine. If you want to take me, that's fine. Do you really want to go to jail for this? I mean, it's okay. I don't want to talk. I don't have an attorney. So yeah, whatever you have to do as a law enforcement officer, go ahead. So look, mm -hmm. if you're gonna stick with this path, you go to jail. Okay, that's fine. For obstruction. You want me to put my phone down? You, you, so you can take me to jail? You can put your phone down if you want. Yeah, for sure. But let me just explain your options here, okay? You go to jail, your vehicle gets towed, and your dog has to get brought to an SPC. And you guys are gonna be sued. And I'll have a lawsuit. Okay. That's, that's so, what I'm saying is you have to legally identify yourself right now. No, I don't. You don't. I'm in a public park. This is public sure property. I'm in a park, minding my business with my grand dog. And you just came flashing your lights on my car. I noticed it from over there. Yeah, so I walked over here to be with my vehicle. That's parked. All right. Yeah, so you got to set your phone down. Okay. okay. I do have a link in the description for an update of what happened with this case. Remember, sometimes they'll call your bluff. Thanks for watching, everybody.